Hello, Damon Mercy Solutions. Um, today I'm going to show how with XIF tool we can take a GPS coordinate from uh, Google Maps and embed that into a picture so that the uh, GPS location is recorded with a picture as to where a photograph was taken. Okay, let's go for it. So, I'll go to Explorer on my machine here and it's pictures. I've got a folder called dog pics with a couple of pictures in and if I open the picture into photos and we do a uh, file information you can see here we've got no location information so we go back to pictures and the first and most important step is to work with a copy of your files um, exif tool may strip tags that it's not aware of um, or if there's a problem with your syntax you may do some damage to the files that you're not expecting so always work with a copy and I suggest you always keep a copy of your original files as well so I'm just going to simply copy this folder and paste this back in and we're going to rename this dog pics and GPS so now I've got a copy of the files here and the original is still there we're next going to do is go to a web browser and I quite like using Google Maps to look up a location so we'll go to Google Maps and we will set the location of these uh, photos as Hyde Park London so we do this what we can then do is locate on the map where we want to be and a simple click we can place a pin which will then bring up the coordinates if we click on the coordinates what we then need to do is copy this top line here which will tell us the location now the way I like to do this I like to use a PowerShell IDE or ISE um, as we can actually build up the command line and run it and adjust it if we need to so if I type in here PowerShell ISE.exe or PowerShell underscore ISE.exe this will launch PowerShell and I'm just going to first of all just save those coordinates there now I've actually got the full command line here which I'm going to copy over and I'll also just paste this into the ID ISE so let's take the first uh, latitude I'm going to cut this and I'm going to paste this in first of all I'm going to put a quote and make sure it's a close quote. We're going to replace the commas and the star with a space. The direction or latitude reference is then north. So that's from there. And we'll then take the next one. Let's uh, cut that from there. And we'll set the longitude. Again, open quote, paste this in. Just to replace the last one of quotes as well, and we'll replace the those two characters with a space, and then we're going to set the longitude reference as west, and then here I'm going to replace files and directory with star dot jpeg, um, as these are jpeg images. So just running through the command, you can see we've got xf. We're setting the latitude, which is uh, 51 space 30 space 26.7 quote uh, these quotes are critical as are the spaces in here um, and again we've done the same the longitude quote and then replace with two spaces and close quote um, we've also used the tag here overwrite original if you leave this tag out um, exif tool will back the files up in the same folder um, I recommend you always work with a copy um, therefore we can use this uh, command that says overwrite original so let's uh, run this command and you can see here reported back um, we have two image files uh, updated so it's as simple as that let's uh, go back to the folder and if I now open the file with photos again and we go to the file info 
we can see now that the location is actually been set within the file and you can see we've uh, set the coordinates as to where the picture was taken in the file. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, if you found this useful please like, share and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I'll also leave a link here um, on the video to a video link as to how to install Exif tool on Windows 10. Thank you very much.